What's happening? Uh, what's happening, guys? Today we're installing a Manja 30 into the van. Right, hey guys, we're installing the faceplate. That's the Red Arc Manager faceplate. So what they w want you to do is you go drill a hole or you can make it flush. What I've chosen is to drill the hole. So I'll show you is what I've actually done. So what I've tried to do, if you can see, is so I've drilled two holes in the face plate. And what I'm going to do is feed the wire through the other side and pop it back out. And what I've done is... What I've done is I've got stainless wire through it through the hole, connected the um, like data cord, cat I can't remember if it's like a cat Ethernet cable or something like that. Taped it on and I'm just gonna pull it through so hopefully it just doesn't pop off. Right, so I'm gonna pull it through and hopefully it just comes back out the other side. That's it popping through. Well, there we go. Easy as that. So to plug in the red light face controller, you just click the Ethernet cable in, put your wire back as it goes in, and you clip it down. And there is a cover to go over that to make it all nice and flush, but that's where the face plate's gonna sit. I like that. Obviously we'll fix up this cable, make it look nice and neat. And that's the faceplate guys. Righto, so we're up to mounting the actual Manager 30 unit. So pick any spot you want in your van. In my spot I've got it close to the batteries. It's preferred to have it closer to the batteries so you're not having all that voltage drop having it so far away and stuff like that. So yeah, it's four screws and just mount it wherever you want. Right, so we're up to the wiring part of the Manager 30 and it's hot in the van so sorry if um, I'm sweating everywhere but what you got is it's like a 7 pin kind of plug and you just wire in your power to your caravan battery 40 amp mini bay fuse on there um, then you've got your Anderson plug from your car, so sorry you can't see that but it's just down there and you've got your earth to your shunt or actually earthed earthed um, to the chassis actually yeah so this is earthing the manager 30 so you just wipe, hook that into the chassis um, and then you've got your shunt which is just you connect it anywhere and it's just pretty much all earth and it's got a battery sensor on it and you connect it connect that to your positive of your battery the rest of it to the negative on your battery and then you earth that onto the chassis as well so what you've got to do is is just do a demonstration obviously just split your wiring get the shrink off copper end twist it put it into that side of the manager 30 screw it down so it's pretty simple it is a lot of wiring but once you get your head around it and read the diagrams it's it's actually pretty simple it's it's not brain it's not brain surgery it's not rocket science it's just connecting wires together pretty much so I'll get all the wiring done and hopefully it turns on with all my wiring that I've done
right, all right, all right. So I'll take you through the actual wiring for the Manager 30. So first up is your power from the Manager 30, which will have a 40 amp fuse on it, to your positive of one of your house batteries. Second one is a negative to ground, so run that to anywhere in the van and ground it. Um, the other one would be, is it like an ignition switch, but that's not needed. Um, the other one is a load sensor, which I didn't need it as well. Next one is solar. I haven't done my solar yet, so you'll just get your power cable from your solar, run it into the sh um, plug in the back here, and earth your Anderson plug on the chassis somewhere. Next one is the power coming in from your car, so your Anderson plug, which will have a 50 amp fuse, and that will go into this. On this side is your your 240, so I haven't done that because I'm not a Leco and I'm not going to mess around with 240, so I'm going to get someone else to do that. And other than that, that's pretty much all the wiring. Oh, and also you have your shunt, which on the right hand side here, that gets earth to chassis. Next one gets earth to one of your house batteries. And then you've got your battery temp sensor, which you mount to your positive of one of your house batteries. The next is the Ethernet cables, which one goes to your actual face plate. Next, and then it'll come to a splitter. The splitter goes to the shunt, and then the back of it gets plugged into the back of the Manja 30 here, and it's all wired up. So I've connected it all, it turned on, it works. Nothing's caught fire, so I'm pretty happy about that because I thought it was going to be a really just hard job, but <laughs> I was actually couldn't believe how quick it actually was to install the Manager 30. The most that took time is figuring out where I'm going to put the wire and all that, and then it was just boom, 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 done. So I have a Manager 30 now installed in the van, guys. I'm, I'm. I'm really ecstatic about it. I can't wait to take it out. So yeah guys, that's how to install a Manja 30 into a car, van, whatever. It's actually quite simple and it's I've been through the settings on the faceplate and it has so much stuff. You can check about your batteries, like the temperature, hours till it's flat. You can have it on different settings like touring, storage, or it's amazing what this thing can actually do. So look into a Manja 30 guys, it's a really good piece of gear. So there you have it guys, there's the Red Arc Manager 30 install. Any questions, hit us in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to the videos. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it guys.